Aussie Ark is lucky enough to be attending two Turtle Island launches. The first island is in the Hunter Valley, along the Hunter River, and protects the Hunter River turtle. Now that's one of the three focus species under Aussie Ark's care. The first island is a collaboration. It's between Ricky Spencer at Western Sydney University and Earthcare Park Landcare. And I have the incredible honour of having a turtle island put out and floated today and I'm its namesake. So that's a really special treat. Well, we're a big launch of the uh, Tim Faulkner uh, Turtle Island. These Turtle Island concepts, these are a real initiative that, that hasn't been done anywhere in the, in the world where we're floating nesting boxes for turtles to actually nest in. It's a floating island that basically is using PVC to float and then a platform. So the turtles can actually come up, nest, right next to it, what we call the uh, vegetation pods. Connected but floating independently and the root systems will grow over the next few months underneath. And when the baby turtles are ready to come out, drop off the island, they've actually got some underwater habitat to hide into the vegetation. And it really is a full ecosystem for mum and the baby turtles. The beauty of this is in areas where we can't control foxes, which destroy 95% of turtle nests, we actually bypass the foxes. These are islands that then can sit out in the middle. Turtles don't have to worry about foxes. Aussie Ark are funding th this program. We've worked with Aussie Ark and Tim for a number of years now. This is a world first. Nothing like this has been done before. This technology could actually be applied for any species of turtle across Australia, but most species across the world as well. The second island is in Springfield, near Gosford, on the central coast. There's two species of turtle found right here. That's the Eastern Longneck and the Murray River Shortneck. The best thing about these events is community coming together. You know, this pond years ago was just covered in weed. Now it's, it's incredible. It's incredible turtle habitat. Um, there's over 100 species of bird. I mean, communities achieve that. It's the right way to do it. You've got the community driving this. We've had great support from council. So we're seeing the council, state, government and the community all coming together to work hand in hand to deliver a great outcome for the environment. So everyone wins and everyone's involved. We're at a small pocket of wetland. It was an old farm dam and we now call it a wetland because it's a busy, busy wetland. To maintain the balance here and maintain a healthy ecosystem, we need to have the turtles. It's great to be involved in something like this for the first time and uh, interested to see how it progresses into the future and, and perhaps forms a, a blueprint for some further projects down the track. I am so delighted that we now have a turtle travel lodge here in Springfield. I'm looking forward to lots of little turtles spreading out and breeding here and to think that this wetland is in the middle of suburbia goes to show how precious these areas are. We have to protect them at all costs and again this is about everybody working together as a community to deliver something unique. Everyone has a story about turtles, but most importantly is that they are a native species that extend right back to the dinosaur era. They are so vital for our ecosystem. They are scavengers, so anything that dies, they eat and keep our waterways clean. Aussie Ark has three turtle species within our care and evident by being here today, our reach through community, profile building, of course, extinction prevention, captive breeding, release, we have big impact. And to support that, please donate to aussieark.org.au. Turtle Island!